guys, so I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a video in like weeks. The last couple videos you've seen have been room tours and what's in my shower videos. So today I have a video that I finally can sit down and film and I'm feeling rather springy because it's like 50 degrees outside today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately tomorrow we're going to get some snow and ice and sleet and wintery nonsense. So I wanted to film this video. I'm filming an empties video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I don't remember the last time I did one. I think it was in the fall. So I have quite a few things in my bag right here to show you and I'm just going to get straight into the video. So the first thing I have in here is a bottle of Equate Non-Acetone Nail Polish Remover. Um, I get this at, I think Walmart has the Equate brand. It does the job. There's a little bit left in the bottom, but um, I figured this was used up enough and I'd had this bottle for forever, so that's why that it works, does the job. I've already repurchased it. I have a packet of my Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Makeup Remover Wipes. These are one of my favorite brands of makeup wipes. You can buy these at all drug stores. They're a little on the pricey side, so I would recommend you wait until they go on sale to buy them, but they are a great product. I have another thing of makeup remover wipes. These are the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Blemish Clearing Facial Towelettes. Now, I bought um, two packs of these at a deal at Target. It was two for $9, I think, which I thought was pretty decent. Um, so these have salicylic acid to control acne, pimples, and blackheads. They are 98% natural, cruelty-free, really good products. They are free of parabens, petroleum, SLS, and oil. I find these to be a very interesting brand of makeup wipes. Um, I have another packet that I'm using up. I don't know if I'll repurchase them or not. I haven't noticed a big difference when I use these to remove my makeup. They do a good job of taking eye makeup off. I'll give them that. But I don't feel like there's anything special about them. So you get 25 wipes, and I know these ones are on the pricier side, so maybe I'll try some of the other ones, like the SD Cucumbers or Grapefruit, or they have like five or six different makeup wipes. So I'll try some other ones and let you guys know what I think, but they're okay. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase them or not yet. I haven't really decided picking into the bag of goodies. I used up a sample of the Philosophy Age Defying Serum. This is just the little card. I got this in my Sephora Black Friday Cyber Monday sale package. This was okay. Actually, I take that back. I think I really liked this serum. So this one was supposed to make your skin appear radiant, poreless, even, wrinkle-free, smooth, and firm. I think this was the one that I really liked. Um, it's really expensive. It's like $70 for like an ounce, I think. I'm not a huge serum person. I don't wear a lot of them, but I did enjoy that sample. My next product in this bag is my Ole Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. This I bought in a set around for the Cyber Monday sale. This, um, it's just a facial cleanser. You can really use it whenever. To be completely honest, I was not a big fan of this. I was not a fan of the smell. And it was a foaming cleanser, but it really didn't impress me. I want to try other Ole Hendrickson products, but this one just was not a standout for me. And that's why you see some stuff in the bottom, because I just didn't finish it, because it wasn't, it just wasn't, it wasn't for me. Let's see. Next, I have a Victoria's Secrets Aqua Kiss Body Wash. I love this scent so much. It is such a good scent. Um, it is Rain Kiss, Freesia, and Daisy. Uh, I will probably repurchase th this again. It is such a fresh, girly scent. I loved this so much. These go for $10 a piece, but you usually can get them on sale. I highly, highly, highly recommend this scent. It is just Oh, I love this so much. I have a bunch of stuff in here. So next, I have two candles. These are the Glade candles. You can get them at Target for like 4 or $5. This was a cinnamon, and then this was like um, a pine scent. I got these for the holidays, and you can see I burned pretty much all the way through them. Um, I'm working through some big candles right now, so I am not buying any for a while, but I really, really like these. They do tend to, you tend to burn through these fairly quickly because they're small, but the scents are amazing, and Glade comes out with a lot of seasonal ones. I'm not a huge fan of any that are out right now, but we will see for the summer. 
let's see, I have a couple of mascaras in here, so I guess I'll pull these all out and go over them. So the first one I have here is the Urban Decay Cannonball Ultra Waterproof Mascara. I got this for Christmas. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a very, very basic wand. Nothing overly special. The one thing I can tell you about this mascara is one, um, it was a pretty good mascara. Um, didn't do a whole heck of a lot for my lashes, but when this says it is ultra waterproof, it is ridiculously impossible to get this sucker off. It does not come off with water. You do need to use a makeup remover with this. I have a Sephora one that I used, and that was the only way I could get this off my eyes. Um, I'm going to guess this is probably around $20, so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this, but if you like waterproof mascara, this is definitely for you. Next, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a sample I got around the holiday time. So this wand is kind of big, as you can see, and it kind of thins in the center and gets wider on the outsides. I personally, and you're probably going to be shocked by this, did not like this mascara. It just didn't work with my lashes. I felt like it was very clumpy and it flaked off and it just, I just did not like it. Unfortunately, it's really popular right now. It just didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, I won't repurchase that. Next, I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is a 4-in-1 mascara. I have gotten this before. I feel like the samples last a lot longer than the full size does. I've noticed that the full size tends to dry out on me, but these ones, I really like this mascara. I just wish the full size didn't dry out. If it didn't, I would buy it all the time, but this is a really nice day-to-day -day mascara. And last but not least, I have the Essence Multi Action Mascara. This I got in a makeup swap, so this has some fun designs on it. This mascara, I have worn every day since I got it, pretty much. I liked it a lot. It's got a pretty basic wand, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I have tried to find this mascara at Ulta, and I haven't tried drugstore.com. I have tried to find this. If you know where to get this mascara, now I did get this in an international swap, so I don't know how easy it'll be to find in the States. If you know how to get this mascara, please let me know in a comment or send me a personal message because I really like this and it works wonders for my lashes. It unfortunately has dried up, but it's been the three month mark, so it's about that time where I need to get rid of mascaras. So this is definitely a good one. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Next, and my final two products. This is, was a sample of the Clinique Happy Perfume. This is one of my all time favorite perfumes. I went and purchased the full size at Ulta last month. I love this. It's just such a fresh scent. It's a little musky, which I like, but if you've never tried this perfume, go try it. Go to your CCOs and your Ultis and your Sephoras and just smell this and you'll fall in love. It doesn't give me a headache. It's not super, super strong. The scent does last all day. I can smell it in the afternoons when I'm wearing it at work. I have gotten lots of compliments on it. It is just one of my favorite, 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 favorite perfumes and a full size runs for about $35, which is not too bad. And last but not least, I have my Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. A lot of people I've heard aren't huge fans of this. So what this is supposed to do, this is supposed to reduce redness, uh, minimize pores, and absorb oil. I use this kind of like a primer. I wear this underneath my moisturizer and I have noticed huge improvements in my skin since I got this sample. I got it when Sephora had their Cyber Monday sale. They had like this free bag of samples that came with it and I got this. I went and picked the full size up, up of this last month because I ran out of it and I just I use it every single day. You can also use this as like a refreshing for refreshing spray. I don't really know what you call them. You can kind of spritz it on your face anytime you want if you're feeling My neighbors are crazy. You can wear this anytime you want and it's just amazing. I highly recommend this product if you've never tried it. It's by Urban Decay so you know it's cruelty free and no parabens and all that stuff. I really like this and a full size of this is pretty expensive too. It goes for like $35 but I really recommend it. So that's all of my empties for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon.